Hi guys, I am Apokura Bulama. For today we are going to discuss on lensometer, an instrument to measure the power of spectacle lenses. It's known by the various names such as lensometer, photometer, obatometer, spherical, cylindrical with axis, and also the optical center. The lensometer, it is broadly classified into two types which are available as standard lensometer and automated lensometer or automatic lensometer. The standard lensometer is also called a manual lensometer. A manual lensometer or standard lensometer, it gives the accurate power of a lens and were used in optical industries. It is portable and can be carried anywhere. But a person need to have a better idea to measure the power of lens, specifically in case of toric lenses. Automated lensometer. It is fully automatic, well-programmed device, mostly used in clinics. It is easy and faster and print prescription. It is less accurate when compared to manual lensometer. Step to neutralize spectacle lenses in manual lensometer. Calibration. We must calibrate at the first. And the calibration, it is the adjustment or adjusting the device to perform smoothly in order to get accurate power of lenses. Eyefees should focus manually according to the examiner's refractive error. Power drum should level zero. All knobs should be placed rightly and the device should be neat and clean to avoid errors. Adjustment of eyepiece. It is very important to focus eyepiece so that the observer's eye is relaxed and avoid errors. In adjusting the eyepiece, the blurred black protractor is focused. The eyepiece is rotated completely anti-clockwise so that the protractor views blur it. Then slowly rotate the eyepiece clockwise and stop at once where it is sharp and clear. Now the eyepiece is set and focused. Placing the spectacle lens on the device. Placing the spectacle lens on the device which it is front surface is passing toward the eyepiece. There are two knobs in lensometer, which include lens stop and prime labeling knob. The lens stop it used to hold the lens and the prime in place, while the prime labeling knob makes sure that the prime is leveled, which have an accurate axis measurement. Analyzing spherical lenses. Move the lens such that the target is exactly at the center. Rotate the power drum until the target is clear and sharp. All the dot at the target or at the center should be separate and sharp. Stop rotating the power drum when the target is sharp for the first time. Always count the upper mark on the power scale for accuracy of the spherical power of the lens. How to record spherical lens. In recording the spherical lens, we will write right eye, for example, the right eye neutralized at 1.5 diopter spherical. So we write right eye O, OD, plus 1.5 delta spherical or spare. Left eye neutralized at plus 2.75 delta spare. So we write OS plus 2.75 delta spherical. We can use OD or OS at any time. So analyzing cylindrical lens the process of neutralizing a toric lens 
that is cylindrical lens when compared to spherical lens is completely in different concepts however with the help of pure step we will be able to measure the lens power very fast and accurately the key and the most important thing to remember is the central orientation of the dot the process of toric lens neutralization step one move the lens so that the target is at the center of the protractor this gives the optical center location step two rotate the power drum so that the central line orientation in one direction are sharp step three rotate the axis wheel axis wheel so that one meridian of the target is parallel to the orientation of the central lines note that only one meridian of the target will be sharp as 180 meridian is sharp in this picture we will write the power and the axis as as 180 degree example dararash diopter cylindrical at 180 degree rotate the power drum so that the opposite meridian in the target is sharp note that the central lines will change in direction and will be oriented in the opposite direction as the 90 meridian is sharp in this picture we will write the power and the axis as 90 degree example dararash diopter cylindrical at 90 writing the power as the lensometer give reading of the toric lens power in two cylinder in two cylinder format we need to transpose the power and write in spiro cylindrical format the power which we got in the example should be written as dararash diopter sphere by dararash diopter cylindrical at 180 how to record cylindrical lenses for right eye for example as we as we have neutralized horizontal meridian first at uh, 180 and vertical meridian that is at uh, 90 degree so not in order to prescribe cylindrical in minus form we ne we need to choose spherical component to be either less minus or more plus so uh, in recording cylindrical lenses so here we consider a as minus 2.75 diopter cylindrical at 180 degree and b as minus 4.00 at 90 degree so the formula we use is a by often bracket v minus a close bracket at the axis of b this is the formula used for cylindrical or toric lens so by putting the value of the formula we get the prescription of minus 2.75 by minus 1.25 at 90 degree so this is the prescription of the lenses so important point to remember are always focus the eyepiece before using the instrument concentrate on the central circular orientation of dot especially in case of toric lenses one meridian of the target should always be parallel to the orientation of central small lines in toric lenses. Each dot at the center will be round. Instead, there will be small lines oriented in one particular meridian. Except the protractor, everything will be blue. When a lens is placed, the, the target moves with the movement of the lens instrument. Should be used more on pattern automated lensometer automated lensometer offers a fast and easy way 
to accurately measure all lenses, including single vision, bifocal, progressive, and freezing. Automated measurement can be taken quickly by simple positioning the lens on the lens table. Progressive lens are recognized and measured automatically with the rate of addition and diopter change graphically displayed. Pictures of automated lensometer, UV transmittance measurement, fulfillery distance measurement, measurement of soft and hard contact lens, spacing saving vertical orientation, pull color tilt screen for easy viewing while standing or seated, easy accessible menu to customize your setting, data output option including a built-in printer and USB spot can be configured to interface with EMR system. So these are all about automated and manual lensometer and these are the steps to neutralize either spherical or cylindrical lenses. In this we discuss on lensometer classification of lensometer neutralization of spherical and neutralization and cylindrical uh, recording of cylindrical and spherical lenses so uh, and uh, pictures and also some tips on neutralizing spherical and cylindrical lenses and pictures of uh, automated lensometer so this is all about the automated and standard or manual lensometer. Thank you.